Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm gonna be testing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. I'm testing this game since at the moment, at the time I'm making this video, but I said it's free to keep on the Epic Games Store. So if you arrived on time to this video and you didn't know about that offer, follow the link in the description to get the game for free. It's around an 8GB download, so it shouldn't take long for you to start playing if you're interested. This is an Unreal Engine 3 game, and it shows on some of the issues it has. First of all, the game is kept at 62 FPS, and that is very common on many Unreal Engine 3 games, at least in my experience. The smooth out frame rate option, you can tweak that by editing a config file. There's a tutorial for that in the description, very easy to do, and the frame rate will be completely unlocked. Then in the options menu we got shadows, post-process, textures, details and anti-aliasing. If you want a big performance boost without doing much, just lower post-process from high to medium. And that's already a huge difference in the frame rate department. Although in this video I'm not going to show you a 60 frames per second target and a 30 fps target, since this game doesn't really benefit that much by jumping from 30 to 60, it's mostly talking and pointing at things and walking around, so I don't think 60 frames per second here is absolutely necessary. Then, if that's not enough, lower details, anti aliasing and shadows together. There's also an issue I ran into on the RX 570, so the AMD GPU, where some of the shadows flicker quite a bit, it's very noticeable. I was able to fix that by switching from DX11 to DX9, so there's a link in the description to see how to fix it. I'm not really that bothered with that issue, it's some scenes and not all the shadows. But if you care about that and want your game to be flicker free on the shadows on your AMD GPU, follow the link in the description, there's a short tutorial to force DX9 on this game. But yeah, overall the game runs just fine, you can do 4K even on a GTX 1050 Ti. The game is not the best looking game around, it's decent. But I played it to completion and I think it's a fantastic game. Plus, at the moment it's completely free to get, so you have nothing to lose if you like this style of game. And we have to stay at home anyways, so a great option. But yeah guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time. Stay safe! Where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The Medi Men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. What a mess! What a terrible mess! It seems that the garden was well maintained. Mr. Holmes? Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. 
Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. There is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around 10 o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Madam, can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Thank you, madam. 